Tiffany Siffert, a game design major at George Mason University, and today I will be talking to you about how colors impact emotions and how it can be used in game design. Colors are everywhere and can have a large impact on how we perceive everything around us, though it seems that most people don't seem to realize how much color impacts them in their day-to-day -day life. In logo design, for example, they are considered very heavily while making the design to ensure the correct message is being portrayed through it. It is likewise as important to consider the colors used in video game design for the same reason. Using the wrong colors can create a conflicting tone between the color emotions and what is actually happening in the game, which can pull the player out of the world. Though it can be done intentionally to advert expectations, one needs to be aware of the impact that the colors can have before they can plan to use it effectively in whatever way they choose. When talking about colors, it's important to understand the many terms used with them and what they mean. And by this, I mean hue, saturation, and brightness, which are terms used to describe a color. Hue is what we use when talking about what most would consider a change in color. Changing the hue of a color would be able to change the color blue to red, for example. Saturation is the intensity or vibrantness of the color and often confused with the brightness. Changing the saturation would take a neon pink to a pastel pink. And finally, we have brightness which is the white to black of the color, and changing it would take a sky blue to a deep indigo. The combination of the three is how we can have so many different colors and changing one or more of these properties makes it a completely different color. The context of a situation and a person's age, sex, nationality, and cultural background can change their reaction to colors, but many studies show that regardless of these, humans will still experience similar and common emotions in regards to the same color. Such as red, for example. Many studies have shown that red is linked to aggression, dominance, and danger in most situations. The color will often lead to risk avoidance or aggression depending on if the person is possession of the color or not. If the person is in possession of the color red, they will perceive themselves as more of a threat than other opponents unconsciously. Whereas, if they are faced with the color red, they are more cautious. Another example of how context can change the emotion associated is that a red dress can be seen as attractive, but a red sign would be seen as a warning of danger. Many other colors have been studied as well, with different results. Blue and green were found to have positive relations. Blue with openness and peace, and green with calmness and success thought to be subconsciously linked to their appearance in nature. In contrast, yellow and red were found to have more negative relations, possibly linked to their appearance in nature as warnings of danger on animals and insects. Because of all of this, colors are important in every piece of game design. A character needs good colors for the design to both stand out against backgrounds and other entities in game, and so the player can keep track of the character while also used to convey information about them. Same goes for the environment, enemies, and NPCs that may be in the game as well. The colors are both important for conveying the intended meaning, as well as separating everything so it can all still be understood by the player at a glance while things are moving. Using colors to convey the emotions intended will help the player stay engaged and invested in the game, and world being presented. Having clashing tones without proper setup can draw the player out of the game and destroy the immersion that the game has worked so hard to create, as well as make it hard for the player to understand what is happening on screen. Having a more emotional game can also help it stay in people's minds after they finish playing and leave a bigger impact than a game that tries the same thing and falls flat. Colors are everywhere and have a much bigger impact on us than most people realize. Learning more about how they can impact emotions can help a creator connect more to their audience and help people be more aware of the subtle influences they have on us all. This can be especially important in video games, where colors are used to convey emotions and meaning, as well as better connect the player to the world of the game for a better experience. Thank you for sticking around and listening to me talk about this. I hope this has piqued your interest to learn more about this topic and that you enjoyed your time with me. Bye-bye!